Hi guys, today we're at Belgium. It's our two year anniversary for marriage. Yay! And we decided to go to Du Brazil to celebrate our uh, two year anniversary. To the sanatorium, which last time we had to run from security. And today we're gonna try again. Uh, <laughs> uh, another YouTuber told us it's, it's safe now and uh, we shall credit them because you have to follow them as well. They are awesome. They're Dutch, but they're awesome. Please follow them. Um, or Belgian, I don't... They're either from the southern part of the Netherlands like us or from Belgium, but you should follow them. We want to thank them, so please follow them as well. And we shall try to continue our journey to Brazil. Ik ben even al die bomen en zo aan het vastleggen. We found this on our way to that. Wow. You don't want to know how much we've climbed. It's terrible. And look, there's Amityville windows. They are very awesome. Look, like the Amityville horror. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to catch my breath, I'm sorry. I'm really not used to it. The Netherlands is such a dull country compared to this. As you can see, it's quite high, but uh, we're getting there. And now we're trying to get closer. It's still no fun. Um, well, to be honest, it really isn't. The Amityville house. So I want to call it the empty flat. It just looks like that. And I'm addicted to that film. So, this is it. This is the building that uh, we had to run from the last time. Well, I didn't run, but they did. I can't climb things that well. Sometimes I have to stay behind. <coughs> As you can see, this is the building. It's beautiful. People still go here. Apparently, sometimes an alarm goes off. People say. The Amityville windows again. The Tudor one. Love House in Tudor style. So unfortunately, much has been damaged. We shall see how far we can get. A bit closer. While uh, Wesley is trying to film with the drone, I'm going to tell a bit about this place. This is Du Brazil. It's in the uh, French part of uh, Belgium. Um, it's uh, from. It was um, thought of, not created yet, but the first of these were from the late Victorian age. It was built the early the early 20th century. It was for tuberculosis patients. Uh, a scientist thought this beautiful nature here, as you can see, uh, the climate here would heal the people. They, it would 
make sure that people would um, heal through the air instead of, of through medication. So that's the difference. And uh, I think it did work, but we don't know for sure yet. After that, uh, during the Second World War, uh, uh, Jews were hidden here from the Germans, among the patients, who really couldn't care less, they were sick, because uh, it was safer than being caught. Uh, it's, um, it has uh, been empty since 2013. Uh, even refugees lived here, they ruined the place quite a bit, not that much, but it has been mostly ruined by idiots. But, well, ever since that moment it has been empty, so for 11 years it has been like this, and people have been wrecking everything, the windows, literally everything, but that's basically the, the tiny history here. It's still scanning the place with the drone, etc. And hope we can't get further, but we have to be careful with that, as you can see. So yeah, um, let's see what we film and what we can do.
So since Dubazil didn't work out yet, but we'll go back within a few hours. We want to show you this castle we found online, and we want to book a room there one day. But it's so beautiful, we really want to see it, show it to you. It's a short break between what's to come, but. We want to show you that and we have other locations as well, we're going to do them as well in the meantime and we tend to do Brazil after. But look at this castle, really, we really want to stay here, it's perfect, don't you think? Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Hello guys, <laughs> so as you can see we found the building again. We were on the other side last time, but the owner caught us, told us to go away. Now one week later we're here again on a Sunday. Other urbex has advised us to come in the weekends. As you can see, there's cameras everywhere. So we got our escape plan. So we're quickly gonna check out the building and then... Uh, and then we're gonna <laughs> go. Yes? Well, we're here. I'm going to ask another urbex if we know about some tips. I hope he replies. And, uh, we're here for the third time now. So we want to finish this job for you guys. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> we need to finish this location. <laughs> so yeah, let's go. Niet omhoog kijken nu. Here we are, putting a hoodie on. With tons of tattoos. <laughs> Which makes me recognizable. Trying to scare it off, but we're determined. I'm gonna check this out. It's gonna be a quick job, guys. Cause here, langs. We go in here. Okay. I don't know if there's there's another one here. I'm sure. Yeah. Look at that. No ledge here. You can stay there if you don't like it. Yeah, you can stay and down. stay down. I check it out. Anybody comes, run to the gate. Okay. Jesus, it's a mess. Hier zit gewoon de ingang naar deze verdieping. Oké. 
cut that guys. It's beautiful. So we were over there last time. There's a gate there with a hole in it. It's going to be an old escape route. Because I don't feel like going through the woods again. <laughs> All the way to my car. Wow. Let's go. Careful. See the entrance. And a big hole. <laughs> I didn't want you to miss this. Mm. Too bad I forgot my flashlights, left it in the car. Well, it's daylight, so we can see most stuff. Not as fast. Generally, safer one. More cameras. We got advice to stay clear of the windows. Our camera spotted us already, of course. Holy shit, look at this view! Oh my god! Oh man, I would so live here. To just wake up every morning of this view, it's amazing. Yeah, we have to go a little bit quicker. No, those cameras are mainly adjusted to just the outside. Wow, look at this. Look how beautiful. So we have to check out upstairs. And of course that building, that's cool. But we can't promise you guys if security comes or anything like that. Because then we have to bail. Mm. Don't worry, those cameras are mainly adjusted on the street. But keep your uh, <laughs> hoodie on. Not that it matters. Like, look at me guys, look at me. I have a hoodie on. I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so recognizable. <laughs> yeah, this owner is like obsessed with people not coming here. There's cameras, but no, it's not not spotting us. We're above it. It's safe. I don't know. We have to check it. Yeah, it's still there. The hole's still there. So that's uh, our uh, getaway. Amazing, man. This building's so awesome. I wonder what the owner is going to do with this, because probably not much good indeed. Like, it was never a problem to visit this place, but... Since it got bought over, the owner is being an ass. Wow. Oh my god, this view. I'm <laughs> 
building is huge, guys. Little tunnel. Can you watch that? Yeah, that's not much time though. Okay, no, don't go outside there. Let's just go that way. Checking out this little building. Again, I don't have my flashlight, so. I sealed. Let the camera adjust to um, a little bit to darkness. What's this? Down. That goes deep down. Stairs over here. 